It's gonna sound so loud One day it'll wake the dead In the twinkling of an eye He'll split the eastern sky And I believe he's coming back Best of Southern Gospel Music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. 
Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube, Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Join with us. Hey, folks, we're glad to be here tonight. Appreciate all you people for tuning us in, and we hope that you share our program. I don't already see a lot of buttons and stuff going up there, and Hey, we appreciate that, and we'd like to say you welcome here to our program, and we're going to have some great gospel music, and tonight's guest will be on the program is Terry Carter of Port City Quartet over around Wilmington, North Carolina. He'll be our guest here about 8.30 tonight, and we, we got some more surprises that I'm not going to say it right yet. I'm waiting on a concrete thing to make it definitely that it's going to happen, but we think it's going to happen. We got a lot of new songs in today, and we may get to hear a few of them tonight. I don't know yet, but uh, we, got a, we may have another guest that's going to come here and be on the program, and it could be as early as Thursday week, a week of Thursday. And it's a quartet. It's a quartet. We're not going to tell you who it is right yet. We're going to wait. Till they, it's definitely, it, it, they done already, some of them wanting to do it, but we're going to wait till it's definitely. And they, they'll they be coming in here probably in a big Greyhound bus. And I'm not going to tell you who it is, but there could be a possibility that you will hear one of their songs tonight. And but we 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 are tickled to death for what God is doing for a program, and we we had a great program last night. Brenda did neon, and and man, we had a good crowd. We had a huge crowd, and that's the way it should be all the time with God's work. We should have the biggest crowd in the world to stand up and stand up and stand for Jesus Christ. We're gonna get on with the program tonight. And we're going to listen to a group right now, another group, is called Elton Wright. He sings a lot of Squire Parsons songs. And he's going to sing the song, Broken Rose. And let's take a listen to this straight song that Squire Parsons wrote. <laughs> Beauty. 
But they got to finish this song out first.
Randy Kent, Randy Kent Cannon. He's new on the program. glad to have Mr. Terry Carter on the program tonight and he is a member of Port City Quartet and we're going to put him on and we're going to talk to him a little bit right now. Here we go. Hello, is this Brother Terry? This is Terry Carter, Brother Presley. How are you doing this evening? Hey, we're doing just fine. You're coming in loud and clear over here and you must sing bass. Yeah, we're doing just fine, Brother Terry. You know you own the program. You own the, a TV station, too, there. Well, we appreciate everything that uh, your ministry is doing to help promote Port City Quartet. I tell you, we need each other, Brother uh, Allen, in this world. Uh, it's a dark place right now, but we as the Christians, there's hope in Jesus, and we have a, an everlasting arm that we can lean on, and that's what I've been doing, I, and I know that's what you and your wife have been doing. And, you know, through, through this pandemic and through this crisis we're going through, I'm glad our hope is still in the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, hey, and, uh, hey, I like what you're doing. Hey, you you know, I, I've i been listening to you you're on uh, Facebook there quite a bit on them programs you come on, and you do a little bit of preaching, too. I like that. <laughs> Well, thank you, brother. Well, I started out when I was a young man um, singing and traveling. I was 14 years old when I first went on the road. And uh, myself, uh, Michael English and Bonnie English and some more uh, guys there in the community where I live right outside of Wallace, North Carolina, we went to church together and we started a group called the Singing Samaritans. And time went on, we, we sang for several years as teenagers and then um, uh, as time went on, I, I helped start a group in 1979 called the Anchorman, and I was there uh, 18 years the first time, and then uh, I had a group called Adoration for about nine years. I was in solo ministry for five, and, and then God led me back to the Anchorman, and I was there about six and a half years. And, uh, I had some health issues back in 2017. I ended up in the hospital. I had overheart surgery. I was in there for 29 days, and I didn't know, Brother Allen, if I'd ever be able to get out and sing and minister again. But God sent some great men my way, uh, these gentlemen in Port City. And, uh, man, we're out here singing and enjoying ourselves with the Lord. 
singing group because of COVID-19, but uh, we, we sang this past weekend. It felt so good to do that again, and we're singing this coming weekend. So it's opening up, and some of the church are start, churches are starting to open up again, and we're anticipating some great things, and we're looking for God to do some great things, not only within our group, but throughout uh, the industry of gospel music. And uh, I'm looking for souls to be saved and lives to be changed, and that's what it's all about. That's the reason we do what we do, and I know that's the reason that you do what you do, Brother Allen, and you are doing a superb job and uh, getting the music out there. We love you for it. We appreciate your ministry, brother. Thank you so much for having me on tonight. Thank you. And, hey, before we go, go any further, could you lead us in a word of prayer? Absolutely. Lord Jesus, we love you tonight. You're our Savior. You're our provider. You're our healer. And you're our soon-coming King. And, Lord, through this time of uncertainty, we know that we can put our faith and our trust and our hope in you, our Savior and our Lord. God, tonight, if there's somebody listening, Lord, they don't know you as a personal Lord and Savior, I pray the convicting power of the Holy Spirit would settle in on their heart, help them realize their need for a Savior, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that they would turn their life over to you. And for that one that may be saved tonight, but they're going through some disappointment, some struggles, some sickness, maybe they're going through depression or oppression, I pray, Holy Spirit of God, that you would just Fill their cup to overflowing tonight. And Lord, tonight I pray for Brother Allen and, and his uh, sweet wife, Lord, as they continue this ministry to reach souls all across the world through Facebook. I pray, God, that the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God would rest upon their ministry. Use them in a great and mighty way. And Lord, be with Port City as we continue to sing in all of these groups. Father, as the doors are beginning to open up again, I pray that souls will be saved, lives will be changed. And Lord Jesus, we're going to give you the praise, honor, and glory for what you do in all of our lives. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Hey, Brother Terry, uh, tell us a little bit about the Port City Quartet. Who all signs in it? How did they get started? And when did it start? Yes, sir. I'd be glad to, Brother Adam. Well, I, I told you, in the fall of 2017, uh, I wasn't feeling well, and I ended up in the hospital uh, to find out I had congestive heart failure, and, uh, and they had to do open heart surgery, and uh, my artery was blocked, so my arteries were blocked, four arteries were blocked, and uh, then uh, they found out my valve was bad, so they had to replace a valve, and uh, I had a hole in my heart. And my, my heart was literally sitting in like a, a pool of infection. So they had to put me on strong antibiotics. That's the reason I was in the hospital so long. And, uh, but God touched me and people were praying all across the country, brother. And, and I felt the prayers. You know, the Bible says the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. And I, man, I felt the prayers and, as I was laying in that hospital. But, you know, I, I went through some discouraging times as well, but I wanted to sing again. I had left the Anglin, and I was at a crossroads in my life, and I was debating on whether to get back in, in the solo ministry or start a quartet. And uh, Joe Lane, that I traveled with uh, over 30 years ago with the Anglin, we had been keeping in contact with each other, and uh, he said, uh, Brother Terry, if you ever start a group, I won't be a part of it. And uh, as I was laying in the hospital room, and he, he found out that I was in the hospital, so he called me, and he said, Terry, I, I, I hadn't heard from you in a couple of weeks, and I was worried about you, wondering what was going on. He said, I found out that you had open heart surgery. So he said, I just want uh, to, to, to mention this to you again. When you get out of this hospital, I want to start a new quartet. And... Uh, so we did, and uh, at that time, uh, Will Lane that sang with me with the Ackerman, uh, he came with us, and Will sang with us, oh, I guess about a year and a half. He's with the LaFevers now, and we love Will. He's doing such a great job over there. But, uh, and then we needed a bass singer, so uh, it was myself and Joe who started the group and Will, and, and then when Will left, we needed a bass singer, so uh, we got a guy by the name of Tim Perry, which is an incredible bass singer, but... Uh, one of the finest Christian gentlemen I've ever worked with. And then uh, the guy that's uh, uh, singing lead with us now, he actually starts this coming weekend, our new lead singer. If you've been keeping up with Port City, uh, we've been posting uh, uh, pictures of the new members, but his name is Randy Field, and he 
Lake, Virginia. He works actually with the 700 Club, uh, CDN over there at Virginia Beach. He's been there for 12 years. He's going to be our lead singer, tremendous singer, tremendous Christian man. And uh, myself, I sing the bear song and do the MC work. I'm Jerry Carter. And, and then we have Tim Perry, of course, singing the bass. And the young man singing the tenor, I just met him two and a half years ago when uh, actually, a little over two years ago, uh, when we were looking at tenor singer, and uh, someone told me about this young man, Rick Vance, from Greensboro, North Carolina, and the first time I heard him sing, I was very impressed, great singer, but as I began to know him, I realized he had a heart for God and a heart for ministry, and that's the kind of folks I want to be surrounded by, Brother Allen, uh, folks that love the Lord, not only love to sing, but love Jesus and want to sing for the right reason to glorify the Lord. And, and so I said, you know, this is a pretty good team here. And then uh, I had a guy uh, that just left the group. Uh, he was with us over two years. His name was Galen Dry. did a great job. So we did a bass player, and uh, we uh, didn't have to look far. Our piano player, Joe Lane's brother, uh, Jamie Lane, is our brand-new bass player. And I've had to use them a couple times between uh, the transition of lead singers. And oh, Jamie got right up there this past weekend and sang the lead and played the bass, did a great job. But he'll be playing bass, and uh, he's a great musician, plays piano as well. So uh, I just tell folks that God assembled this group together, and he sent these men my way because he wasn't through with me. Even though I went through the heart surgery and all the, the health issues I had, He's still got a work for me to do, and he's opening up doors, uh, Brother Allen, and uh, we're, we're going places and, and, and doing things in the business that I didn't think we do this early on, and uh, we got a brand new single out, In Jesus' Name We Pray, and it's starting to do well all across the country, song written by Kenna West and Miss Diane Wilkinson, and we were so pleased that they chose Port City to record that song, so... God is opening up doors, and most of all, we're seeing folks saved, Brother Allen, and lives changed at our concerts, and, and I just praise God for that. You know, the harvest is great, the labors are few, and I, I just want to do my part, and I want Port City to do our part as a ministry to win the loss to Jesus. And I know that is exactly what you're about with your radio ministry and your promotions, and what you're doing is to uplift and glorify the name of Jesus Christ. And I applaud you and thank you for getting out of here. And you're touching people, a lot of shut-ins, people that are sick, can't get can't get to church, and, and they can get right there on the Internet, on Facebook, and uh, be blessed by your ministry. And I appreciate what you and your wife are doing, Brother Allen. I really do. Okay. Hey, we're going to listen to one of your songs, but you hang right tight. i got a few more questions to ask you, okay? Okay, my brother. Okay, and what do you think about this one I, that I got pulled up here to sing? It's one of my favorite songs, and I've heard I've heard a lot of groups sing it, and uh, now you all sing it, and it's an old song too called "Oh What a Savior." What do you think about that? Well, when I when I hear Rick Vance sing that song, uh, I think about how God has been good to me. You know, we all have a testimony. Uh, and, and, and we can say that the Lord has been good and God has blessed us and he's touched our lives in some way, either physically, spiritually, financially. We know that God has been good to us. And, and sometimes I just stand in awe of the goodness of the Lord. And I think about, oh, what a Savior. And when Rick sings this song, I think about how good God has been to me. Yeah. Yes, it's a great song. It's an old classic. Okay. Uh, the Quartet recorded it years ago, and then, of course, uh, the cathedrals did it. But I still love that message. I still love what it says. Oh, what a Savior. And uh, Rosie Roselle made it real famous, too, in his days. He did, and he was one of my favorites. I love the Statesman Quartet, and I love the feeling that uh, Rosie put in a song. I mean, he could really, he could really paint a picture, brother, when he sang a song, and uh, this was his, actually, this was his trademark song, Oh, What a Savior. That's right. Okay, let's listen to it. Let's listen to Port City's quartet singing. Here we go.
that his hand will lead me safely song. Hey, Brother Terry? Yes, sir. You know what What I thought of the first time I seen your video? I, I think I posted a couple of them. And uh, the first time I seen your video, you want, know, you want me to tell you what I thought? Uh-oh, I guess. <laughs> put it on me, brother. <laughs> okay, I fixed it, put it on me. I said, oh, no. There is a, a, a find it looks like the 16 ton of fun. <laughs> That's right. Hey, we eat good, buddy. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> you, yeah, but yeah. you know what I'm referring to? And I said, the, <laughs> the 16 ton of fun? What's that? <laughs> you remember the Kingsman Quartet? They called them that for years, the 16 ton of fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was the Kingsman back in those days. Uh, you know, I grew up listening to the Kingsman. groups on my program didn't have to nobody was statesman but I've had Roger Horn several times and he wrote songs for the statesman and great I, songwriter, great yeah songwriter. and and I've had I, about a month or two ago I had Squire Parson on this program That's right. And uh, tell these people how that they can get uh, the Port City Quartet to come and sing for them and 
tell them how they can order CDs from from you guys. Yeah, absolutely, and thank you for this opportunity, by the way, Brother Allen. We appreciate it so much. Uh, you can go to our website, CourtCityQuartet.com. We have an online store. Uh, we have a, a CD. We're working on a brand new one that hopefully will be out by the end of the year because of COVID-19. Everything kind of got put on hold, but we're going to be back in the studio working on that. Uh, Diane Wilkinson has some songs on there. Uh, we, we've got some great writers on this new project. And then uh, we have our, our CD, the song you just heard, Oh, What a Savior. While the Morning was on the singing news chart for several months. It, it, it's on this album. And a lot of great songs run on for a long time. Uh, you know, we went back and got some classics, and I really like it. And then, of course, uh, I have some solo CDs on there. Our tenor singer has a solo CD on there. So some uh, other things you can order at our online store. But again, it's real simple, CourtCityQuartet.com. We also have our contact information on there. You can go through the Minion Agency. Mr. Michael Davis does our booking. And uh, you can go through the Minion Agency, or you can call our office, and our numbers are all there. And uh, we would love, be honored to come sing at your event, your church function, a concert, Whatever you got, we would, we would love to talk with you and hopefully work out a date. We would love to get in, uh, in that part of Tennessee, uh, Brother Allen, we would love to, and uh, we would be honored to, to come and worship with you. That's one thing about us. We don't only come and just sing. We worship, brother, and uh, we would be honored to be a part of your church service. <laughs> Oh, Tori, you get me excited. I, I'm, I, I'm, uh, I'm about ready to pass the offering plate. Every time, so, every time somebody does this, and I get start feeling excited and, re, and get and get religious. I, I want to pass the offering plate. But we don't have we we don't have a congregation here too. But anyway, anyway. Wait, we you you is the one that caused it. <laughs> well, you know God's good. I mean, uh, some people, you know, when you get to talking about the things of God and the goodness of the Lord, you know, and, and if you get too deep into the Word, for folks say, "Hey, man, just kind of back off there." But you know, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, brother. I believe when when, when God does something great for you, and He's healed me, brother. He's healed me, and He's touched my body. And, most of all, at the age of 13 in, in 1971, I surrendered my heart and life to Jesus. And I had been the same since. Man, I, I, I'm a shouter. Boy, I get to feel the presence of the Lord. I'll get to shout His praises. And, and when I get to sing it, uh, and I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost, brother, it gets good to me. It gets good to me. And uh, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed to let folks know that Jesus is my Savior. And he's my keeper, he's my shield, he's my protector, and I love him today. And I, and I, and I, I tell you, we don't only need a revival. I believe the church, I believe this world needs a spiritual awakening, and we need to, we need to realize that uh, without God, we're nothing. And we need to hold on to the horns of the altar, brother, and pray and seek His face, and 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 have a desire to see souls saved, and lives changed. And, Amen. Hey, you didn't tell these people how much them CDs cost. Well, we, we've got them on our website, and I think they're $15, brother, is what we're doing on those. And I think we've got a thing set up that, that includes the shipping. So it's $15, we take care of the shipping. And, and, it's, and uh, we would be glad that we have an order. I think there's an order for them on there. You can do that through PayPal. And we'll be glad to get them right out to you. Be more than glad to get them right out to you. And uh, but yeah, if you want to call us, you can call. Uh, like I said, Dominion Agency. I don't know that number right off, but they got a website, Dominion Agency. And then if you want to call, you can call my, my direct line nine one zero six one seven four three nine seven. And uh, we'll be glad to work with you, book a date with you. Like I said, we'll just come over there and have church with you folks. That's great. Hey, I, I got I got something else I want to ask you. You got one of them big, nice buses too, haven't you? Yeah, we, let me tell you a little bit about that. And uh, very few people know this, Brother Allen, but uh, we have a Uh, a friend of mine, well, actually a baseball player, he 
Tractor and trailer for a number of years. Is that right? I did not know that, brother Allen. How about that? I mean, hey, I've I, I, been I've been in every major city in the forty-eight states and I drove in all forty-eight states so many times I couldn't tell you how many times a day I got to liking it, and they couldn't. Oh, wow. keep, I burnt the wheels and cars off the fight just to buy it. <laughs> and and. Yeah, it's been a while. My health got took me off. He, uh, yeah. he, I don't let him drive my car. No, well, way. Yeah, well, I, I think Mama's got your lumber, Alan. <laughs> it sounds like, brother. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody's got my lumber. You know, good, good Lord's got my lumber. Amen, amen. He's got all of our numbers, only brother Alan. <laughs> hey, hey, that's right. Hey, hey, uh, uh, while I got you on here, I want you to tell me about. Uh, three more songs you'd like me to play on here tonight. Well, the, uh, the song that did real well for us um, is an old J.D. Sumner classic, What a Morning. And uh, I did that song years ago with the Ackerman, when I was with the Ackerman. And uh, when we started this group, uh, I looked at the bass singer and I said, you know, you've always been able to sing this song great. Let's, let's cut it. So we did. And when we cut the song, we had no idea it was going to be a single. And, uh, but we, we, we got a good cut on it, I feel like. So we put it out on the radio, and it was on the scene we shot four months in a row. We were very excited about that, you know, especially being a brand new group. And, uh, so, yeah, uh, that, that's a good one. And then, um, there's a song on there, uh, that I grew up with. As a matter of fact, uh, Rusty Goodman was one of my heroes. I love the Goodmans, and I love Rusty's writing. And I love just singing, but we did that old classic, Had It Not Been. That okay. would be a good one, if you don't mind doing that. That really goes good in concert, of course. Okay. And, uh, and then an old cathedral song on there we did, I'm Gonna Live Forever, is on there. And uh, we, we enjoy it. We enjoy doing those old classics. Okay. And uh, we, we, I'm the reason I'm getting in a hurry. I got to have a station ID break. And uh, we, we're going to let you go, and we'll get back and do this again before long. And I'm going to play these songs right after the station ID break. Is that okay? What was the that third song? Thank you so wait a much, minute. Brother. Wait a minute. What was that third, what was that third song again? I'm going to live forever. Oh, okay. Okay, we got it. Thank you, and you will be on Thank the... Thank you guys so much. I love you all, and thank you so much for what you're doing. Uh, okay, wait a minute, Terry. Hey, this will be on YouTube, and this will be on, we'll send you a copy of the TV program, and uh, and we'll, we'll get you everything. And, uh, and Thank you so much, Brother Allen. Now, it could be in the morning before we get somebody to tell you it's a big job doing all this. Now, you take your time, brother, no problem. I oh. Okay, thank you, Brother Terry. It, 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 we'll call you again. Yes, sir, anytime. God bless you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, we, we're going to get our, our station ID break, and then we're going to get back and hear some songs of a Port City Quartet. And let's take, let's take a listen. to 
the very best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. Come on. 
that sherbet that there, folks. Some good old singing right there. And hey, you know, every night, a Sunday night, we was at Madisonville at Friendship 
Baptist Church where Pastor David Davis is pastor. And uh, there were some great singers showed up. I got, I got uh, Randy, uh, I've got his last name. I got Kim something. Cannon. Kim Cannon. Ken Cannon. Ken Cannon. Ken Cannon. And we got some of his songs. And there's another group there. And they was called uh, uh, Chip and Nikki Edley. And I think they was from down around Nashville, Tennessee, uh, I think. Or Union County. Union County. Uh, what was that? Up to me, Tennessee, isn't it? It's going up 75 up oh, okay. on the east side of 75, I think. But anyway, we, we got some of their music, too. And uh, we're going we gonna to have them on the program for long. And we got we got a whole sack of music coming here the last day or two. And let me tell you this. We, we possibility, it's looking like they, uh, that... Uh, we're going to have a live group of singers on here as early as Thursday week. Uh, you know, just a little over a week to go. I'm not going to tell you right yet that they definitely tell me definitely, but it's looking like they're going to. They, they're talking about it and they want to. And, uh, and they, they will be coming here live. And, and uh, I'm not going to tell you who they are. I done played a song or two of them tonight on the program. But anyway... We're going to listen to uh, uh, Chip and Nikki Headley, and we're going to listen to uh, one of their songs too, and we'll get right back and play some more great gospel music here on the program. And we appreciate all the shares that we got, and appreciate you helping us out, and we love every one of you. I don't know where people's listening at. We get them from all over the country, and we'd like to say thank you for listening and hope you share in our program that others might hear it. If you're on television, call your neighbor up and tell them to tune us in and tell them how they can uh, tune us in on the TV. Okay, here we go with Chip and Nikki Edley. Let's take a listen to them.
here, Carl? Well, I'm talking to you too. You're the common bond for them. Oh, 
reason for living Life will give you a broken dream Full of sorrows and fears Turn around, don't look back again
preach God's holy word. They can make it be against the law. If we witness door to door, they can stop our voice from preaching.
coming up next. I hope you hit the sharp button after our post. Oh, 
best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. We've had a good time playing gospel music in here tonight, and we appreciate you tuning us in, and and we ask for you on Facebook to please share our program that others might hear it. And uh, I, you know, God is blessing our program, and we appreciate like last night Brenda Disney was here live, and we may have another group. We're just making sure that it's going to be the next Thursday night. That's what we're waiting on to make sure everybody can join us on Thursday night. We got a group. It's a quartet this time that's going to be live on the program. And we just, we pretty well know who it is. We know who it is. And we, we even played a couple of songs on the program tonight. We're just waiting to make sure that Thursday night week is going to be the night. And we got people lined up coming in here all the way up into October. And we have the uh, Victory Trio that's coming here in a, in a few weeks. And uh, we got others that's lined up. And we even got Greg Sullivan out of Louisiana. He's going to be with us live on the program the 31st of October. I think it's the 31st around the last day of October, and we got some more. Roger Horn, the great songwriter, him and Squire Parson, one of the biggest ones in the world, I guess, and and Roger, when we play Roger's songs, we don't play nobody else's songs. He wrote all the songs he sings, and he's going to be a guest about the middle of September on this program, and folks, we just appreciate it. And, and we got another group. I know about all the world has heard of this group. We're talking with them, and we won't tell you who that is yet till we know definitely it's going to be, what night it's going to be. But uh, we, we, we got their songs. But we, they're going to send us some new songs. They contacted me, and they're going to send us some new songs, and we're going to do an interview with them. And... It's, it's looking great, folks. Just keep God's work going and keep sharing it. Keep telling people about it. Hey, we get we get to do what we're supposed to do. God can send a revival, and it, and it, it depends on what we do. Okay, Lady Presley. Okay, we got a few more minutes. Uh, looks like Brenda eleven more minutes. We want to try to give them a few more songs. I got two or three more groups that I need to put in. And don't forget, join our YouTube channel too. Everything goes over on YouTube too. Alan Presley Promotions, type that in on the search bar and it should bring it up. And we got Roger Horn coming up right now and he's going to be a guest on this program coming up in September, about the middle of September. Roger Horn is going to be back on this program. He's an ex-cathedral, too. Sung with the Cathedral Quartet and Gospel Harmony Boys and a few more of them. Let's take a listen to Roger Horn on this great song that he wrote. <laughs> 
let's take a listen. Thank you. 
excited like I said about the program and and uh, we're going to get ready to listen to a song by the Primitive Quartet and folks you know I've been talking with some of the Primitive Quartet and they're going to get me some brand new music. I got tons of their old music but it's uh, from people of the past you know and the songs get a little older. They're going to send me some new songs and by the way they probably going to we're going to do an interview with the primitive quartet coming up very long but not only don't stop there we're waiting on michael combs to get back with us and we're probably going to be seeing him on the program again so here we go with the primitive quartet let's take a listen right now while you are sharing the program let's take a listen <laughs> Sweet hands and bow at his feet. I'll thank 
good guys. Sometimes I know I feel the way that no one did bring the war to man. And my brother, all of the friends that I care about, and the woman that I learned to love, I'll gather them together and promise them forever. We'll be safe from the world around us. All we have to do is love each other. Build an ark, head for the open water, save your sons and your daughters. our program for this Tuesday night and we hope that you share the program and we had a good time with Terry Carter of Port City Quartet and we got more that's going to be coming on throughout the next couple months some of them coming here live so help us keep this program on the internet system we're going to say good night God bless you and may we all take a liking and to that great God who loved us so much that he sent Jesus to die in our place, that we could have life and have it more abundantly. And don't forget, if you don't if you don't belong to our YouTube channel, go to YouTube, type in on the search bar, Alan Presley Promotions. He should get you there. Then hit the red button, subscribe to our program, and they notify you every time there's a change there. And there's a change about every day. We put every program goes over. To our YouTube channel. And we got Googling the programs over there. You'd go back and listen to program after program right there on the YouTube channel. We're going to get out of here and say good night. God bless you. Have a great night. Good Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station, same place. Right here on Alan Presley Promotions. Good night, everybody. Bye bye.